Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Liam. I'm Liam, cooking. Um, today we're going to cook a new recipe that I've not tried before. It's called Creamy Tuscan Chicken. So I'll let you guys follow along and you can see how this goes as I attempt to cook the Creamy Tuscan Chicken for the first time. And we, we can see one, is it easy to cook? And two, does it taste good? So the first step is in a pan, this is the pan that I should be using, more of a wok, I think. Cat? It's not a wok. What is it? It's a pan. This is a pan. Uh, and in a pan over medium heat, I need to heat oil. So here's a question for you, Catherine. Oh, for those watching, Catherine is the camera woman operator and she's also the real chef of the house. So I'll be asking her for lots of advice. Um, it says oil. Do I use the fry light spray? You can. Or have we got... I would some... use some proper oil on this. Yeah, and have we, have we got the extra virgin olive oil? Yeah, there should be a bottle of oil on that shelf. Not that one, because that's a spray. Oh, here we go. Napolina? Yeah. Napolina, extra virgin olive oil. So this is going to be one tablespoon. Now one other thing just to bear in mind, I've got a recipe here that I am following. The recipe says it serves four, but because there's only two of us, I'm not allowed to follow it, so I have to halve everything. But I some did, things, yeah, just the oil some you don't things have to I halve. Don't halve. So this isn't a half, this is one tablespoon still. Oh, cooking with Liam. It's fun. This is a tablespoon, isn't it? Yes. Oh, good. It doesn't look like enough. Once it heats up, it will spread across the pan. I will heat it on a medium heat now. That's the wrong one. Um, is that a medium heat? Yes. Okay. Step one, done. Step two, add chicken and season with salt. Follow me. Here we have the fridge, and inside this fridge, as you can see, it's nicely stocked with lots of food. Um, but for today, we just want the chicken. So there are other things in the fridge that you'll need at some point. I don't want them yet. Okay. Chicken, 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 chicken. Okay, come on, Claire. Uh, oh no, I've got oil on my fingers. Now. Top tip when you're cooking, uh, if you get oily fingers, wash it straight off because it's going to make everything really oily and slippery and oh, right night there. So you don't want that. Um, another top tip, try not to get oil on your fingers. You heard it here first, cooking with Liam. So I'm going to use a small knife like this one and I'm just going to very carefully pierce the packet like that in a way that doesn't get chicken on the knife so I don't have to wash it up. Top tip. Always try and save on washing up. Uh, so this says four chicken breasts, but we're using two because we're halving it. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. Oh. <coughs> Cooking with me. <laughs> um, um, and season with salt, pepper, and oregano or oregano if you're French. So a bit of salt, Catherine. Yeah, I'm just getting the oregano for you. Bit of salt. What can I use for spinning this around the pan? Uh, use a spatula, because you're going to have to turn it over at some point. All right, here we go. Okay, well, this is really going to blow your mind in. Yeah, blow my mind. My mind is ready to be blown. This is cooking and it's new to me. So we don't have oregano. Yeah. But we have something which I assume is called mar marjoram. Okay. I'm going to put it in front of the camera for you. That is basically apparently the same as oregano, so I'm right. going to put I'm that. I'm going to put some of this pepper on. Yeah, just a little bit, not too much. Happy with that, or is that too little? No, that's fine. You're just seasoning. Was there enough salt that I put on? Just sure. Put a bit more on. I didn't see, but oh, that's it's probably fine. Just... And then I put some of this. This isn't oregano. This is marjoram. What did I just explain? I don't know. I was distracted. So, do you want to sprinkle some of this on? Yeah. Does it say anything about adding them on both sides, or is it just... Just to season it. 
Okay, I'm sure it'll be I gone. I have to cook it eight minutes per side, so maybe when I roll it over, I can you see can the other side. You can put a bit more on, yeah. Look at you gracefully. Is, oh. that, is that... I think that's good enough, isn't it? That's probably been on for about two minutes now, would you say, on that side? Yeah, I mean, I usually time it, so yeah, I actually know. Yeah, I'm going to set a timer so. for six minutes now, because it's meant to be eight minutes on either side. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to set a timer for six. Okay. And we'll be right back. And or am I just standing here filming the whole damn time? What would you prefer? I mean, are we really just going to stand here for six minutes? Yeah. I'm going to stop filming then. But no, no, it's fine because I'm cooking. Get ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Cooking with me. Here in the kitchen. Cooking. With me Very good. Now you can stop. I am now flipping out. That's one flip. That's the second one flip. So I've flipped the chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna season this side of it now. So you're gonna set a timer first or yes. season first? I'm gonna set a timer first. Eight minutes timer is now on. I'm gonna season with some salt. Very good. And I'm going to season with a, a small amount of pepper. Yeah. And um, a small bit of marjoram. Why is it marjoram and not oregano? Because that was a substitute with the food shop. But apparently it's basically the same. Okay. It's fine. A little bit more. So there you go. Uh, that's cooking with Liam. Um, so while this is going, we've got a timer on now. We've got over seven minutes still on that timer. So come with me. We're going to start preparing the next bit. You go over here. And what we're going to do is start halving some of these cherry tomatoes. As you can see, I've already halved some. Um, no. So tell the viewers the truth. I've already halved some of these. No. And now I'm just going to halve this one, like this. Are you watching? Like that. And that's another one that I've now halved. Um, I'll halve I'll have a couple more, just to show you how it's done. And then we'll be back in a little bit. Not sure that's how it's done, but... You did fine on the first one. What yeah. Happened? Well, it's it's um this I like to show the viewers how to do it and how not to do it. Right. See, that's how you do it. And the key thing there, the big difference, was I did it with this bit facing up, and I did it with this bit facing down. How not to do it, and you'll see, this is a bit more of a nightmare probably. Yeah. Do you want, do you want another tip that will make it even easier? Go for it. Start with the end of the knife. No. Okay. Just do it like that. Do it upright. No, that's not the like easiest that. way at all. Well, I found that very easy. Okay, well. And um, this is cooking with Liam, not cooking with Kat. Oh, okay. So if you're going to listen to anyone in this show, I'd listen to Liam personally. Um, if, if Kat wants to do her own cooking with Kat show, you can probably get additional tips from that. Different tips. Worse tips. Excuse me? And now I have halved all of these cherry tomatoes by myself. Cooking with Liam here in the kitchen. Cooking with Liam. Welcome back for some more cooking with Liam. I'm Liam. Uh, we're currently just waiting for the timer to go off and when it does, we'll be taking this chicken from this pan. There we go. We'll take the chicken from this pan and we'll put it onto this plate. So... I'm going to be honest, I'm not convinced that this chicken's cooking through. But we're following the recipe. If it kills us, 
It's not my fault, it's recipe's fault. No, we'll just check it and um, uh, keep it heating. So, it I now need to melt the butter, and it's one and a half tablespoons of butter. So, here's some butter that I've got here. Is that the half? That's half measured, yeah. Okay. It said three. Yeah, that would be two. That's much. one. Okay. I'll just do a small do, half. Yeah, just do a, a tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's one and a half. Um, that's a lot of butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we melt the butter and we stir in garlic. What can I use to stir it with? Uh, the spatula still. Okay. I'd, so, I'd move that butter around a little bit. Yeah, 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 I'm doing it. Carefully. Stir in the butter. And then I put in some garlic. Now this has to be about one and a half crushed cloves. But we're using this uh, chopped garlic. So... Um, that's going to tell me when. How many? One and a half cloves. I do like my garlic, so it doesn't matter if it's too much. And the main thing here is the cat's happy. Yes. So we'll do this for about a minute. It reckons. Let me check that. Yeah, until fragrant, about a minute it reckons. And I suppose about 30 seconds already, I'd say. What do you reckon? I'd keep stirring it so the butter doesn't burn. Yeah, let's keep stirring it so the butter doesn't burn. I don't know if that's enough butter. That's loads of butter. Wow. I'm more concerned that it's not going to burn. Well, that's why I'm stirring it. Yeah. Uh, good tip, top tip for Chef Liam. Uh, if you don't want your butter to burn, keep stirring it. You heard it here first. Yeah, because I told you. Don't worry about that. All oh, right, that's probably a minute. I'm sick of it. <laughs> so now we add the cherry tomatoes. So here's the ones that, as you remember, I was halving earlier, but all of these were by myself. Lovely job, I'm going to give that a quick little stir. And these have to cook until they're almost bursting. I don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Uh, and it says to add uh, season with salt and pepper. So, lots More of salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Yeah. Seems a bit extravagant. I'm not going to go crazy because we've already done quite a bit. There you go, cooking with Liam. That's some more cooking done right there. Uh, so cook until they're beginning to burst. So let's keep an eye on these. Are they beginning to burst yet? Um, what do you think, Catherine? Not yet. Not yet, no. What will they look like when they do start to burst, the, I the, wonder? The skin on the tomatoes will sort of look like a bit saggy. Oh, okay. Or like soft is probably the better way. Yeah, but, you know, Catherine said saggy. Chef Liam, he's going to say that the skin will look a bit soft. What happened to this guy? Fucked, isn't he? Well, they, they will be. The seeds will probably come out, especially the more you kind of move it around. I've stopped moving it then. Right. And once uh, once that's ready to burst, I put some spinach in and cook that until it's beginning to wilt. So here's the spinach. This isn't the right amount, according to the recipe, but according to Kat, it's more than enough. Put all this in. Blimey. me. Uh, what do you think? Um, I wouldn't say that's beginning to burst yet, but I'm not a professional chef. No, I think if some of them are starting to soften. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it matters that much, to be honest. Do you want to like spinach in now? They're still going to soften up as you add the other ingredients, so... Spinach is now going in, though. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, this is... You might want to stir it around them before you add the rest. All right, we'll give that a go. I don't know where the rest is going in the pan. This is, uh, this is real cooking. Very healthy looking, oh, you know, aside from all the butter and, and so Yeah. Should I put some more in? Yeah, you think there's some more room? No, I don't, but... I think they should probably leave it there. And if there's room later, you can add some more. All right. So once this starts to wilt, I stir in the double cream, which is 60 millilitres. How much is that? That will be, so this pot... Oh, I forgot I'd opened it and almost threw it everywhere. Um, double cream. This pot is 150 millilitres, so 
I've just chucked a load of it out already though, right there. So oh, what? it's when I picked it up, it went oh. everywhere. So it's chaos now. All right. Well, this isn't me making a mess. This is kind of so, chaotic, uh, Catherine. I'd say add a, like a, a roughly half ready. the pot. Half the pot? Yeah, but pick it up carefully so you don't do what I did. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, about half of that. Doesn't seem like very much, but maybe we can add more if we feel the need. That's about half that pot, I reckon. Yeah, you didn't give the spinach much chance to wilt, did you? No, but I, you can see from the edges that it's already starting to wilt. Okay. That's my professional He's, opinion. He suddenly knows what it means to wilt. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to stir that in a little bit before I then do the next bit. Is there any more liquid going into this? I hope so. Yeah, so do I. And parmesan. That's not liquid. No. Parmesan and then um, reduce heat to a low simmer. So I could put more cream in. I mean, the picture looked like it had, it was Loads. quite creamy. Yeah. Maybe the cream doesn't need as much scaling as. Bear in mind that was serving four and you've made me half everything to serve two. So it's going to be half as saucy. Well, do you want to add some more cream then? Yeah. Go on then. Thank you. You add as much cream as you think is sensible, which is probably less of the rest of the pot, knowing you. Yeah. Yeah, that's all we've got. So that's what we'll go with. That's what we'll go with. There you go. The thing with cooking, here's a, here's a top tip. Uh, Chef Liam, top tip with cooking. Um, there are recipes, and you can consider the recipes as rules if you want, or consider them as more like helpful suggestions and then just do your own thing. Okay, that's a good tip, I, hopefully. Um, I think now we could maybe consider adding some more spinach in if we wanted to. Yeah, I mean, bearing in mind the more stuff you add to it, the less creamy the sauce is going to be, isn't it? So that's your call. Uh, all right, we'll leave it as it is. I think that's quite spinachy. One bit of spinach is stuck to the side there, but do you know sometimes in cooking you have these accidents? Is that an accident? Yep. Okay. These casualties, that's the word I was looking for. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm cooking. Uh, I'm Liam. You're watching Cooking with Liam. Um, I think now we reduce the heat to a low simmer until sauce is lightly reduced, so about three minutes. So. I'm Wait, gonna... have you added the parmesan yet? No. Is that... Good point. Uh, so we're going to eyeball this. How much do you reckon? I mean, I love parmesan, so, uh, I mean, don't go crazy because the recipe only says, like, a really small amount. About that? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, I think that's a good amount. We could always add some more to the top if we want it. Yeah, for those that are following and want to actually, you know, listen to the recipe, um, the amount of, of parmesan, they reckon about 12 and a half grams if you're doing this for two people, or 25 if you're following the recipe properly and doing it for four, which is what I wish we were doing, but I'm um, not allowed. The sauce should be even less creamy then. Or would it be more creamy? No, because know. we've added more than I think it asks for, for two, so, uh, for four even. Maybe. Do you want the cream that's on the plate? Or is it creamy no. enough? I'm going to start reducing it now to a simmer. Okay. That's looking pretty nice, isn't it? Would you say that's reduced heat enough, or do you think the heat needs more reduced reduction? It won't go down anymore, so Perfect, that's, that's I've done sufficient. that excellently. Uh, about three minutes now, and then we return the chicken and we cook for another five to seven minutes. Oh, that's really... there we go. So, I'm going to put the timer on for two minutes, it's already been about a minute, with all this faffing around we've been doing. When does the chicken go back in? After this two minutes. For how long? Uh, five to seven. Mm, okay. I'm happy to put it in now if you think that's better. No, I just mean you'll probably want to do it for more than five to seven. Then maybe that... we should put the chicken in now. Okay. You, you do you. It's I don't want to that, burn the sauce. Yeah, it's just that chicken is still pretty pink and a simmer isn't going to do very much to it. All right, ready? Maybe we should have butterflied the chicken, yeah? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just following a recipe. Yeah, just coat them as much as you can. So yeah, I'm going to flip this guy over. Yeah. Oh, God. It's hard, this one. Yeah. I've done it. He's flipped. I'm going to flip this one over just for the sake of it. There we go. Um, and now I'm going to put a timer on for seven minutes. Okay. And we'll have a look at how that's looking in seven minutes' time. So um, we'll be back in seven minutes' time. 
Um, now it's time for your favourite part of cooking with Liam. Cooking with Liam here in the kitchen. Cooking with Liam. Welcome back to Cooking with Liam. I'm Liam, and now we're going to attempt cooking this. No, not cutting this lemon. Uh, I need to cut into wedges for serving. This is really just a decorative thing. Um, any advice, Catherine, on how to cut a lemon? Uh, cut long ways. Do I cut the ends off first? No. All right, so just straight into it lengthways like that. Yeah. All right. I don't usually cut wedges, so I'm trying to remember like a smart way of doing it. Uh, well, I reckon a smart way of doing it is you cut it into four. Yeah. And then if you want it smaller, cut it smaller. Yeah, but I wouldn't cut it that way up, otherwise the juice is going to squirt everywhere. Well, which way would you cut it? Flip it over. Oh, yeah, like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's smart, I guess. Yeah. Teamwork. Sometimes cooking is a teamwork thing, but, you know, if you by yourself, um, just do it by yourself. Good tip. Thank you. So, here we go. And then I'd probably just half those again for wedges. You think? Honestly, I don't. I think that's it. You've got two wedges per plate there. You can quite drizzle the sauce on, can't you? They're quite low. Yeah, you might want to double check there's no pips. Yeah, in I'm those. getting rid of the pips. Okay. That's what this part is here. This yeah. is the deep hipping part. Quite large wedges of lemon. I mean, I love lemon, so it's fine yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah. You probably won't even touch yours, so. I'm going to squirt it all over my, my meal. Yeah, that's, that's my plan. Although I'll probably just use one of those to do that. Um, I think that one's alright. Um, this one's got a couple of pips. I think that's a pip there. Alright, I'll have a go in a second. I'm just very aware that I'm running out of time and I've got some bread to cut still. Oh yeah. Oh, there goes the timer. There goes the timer. Oh, that's a pip on my foot. So there's a, there's a pip on Kat's foot. Let me hit the... I'll dish this up and then I'll cut the bread, I think. Well, first... No, leave it on the heat. All right, I'll leave it on the heat. Um, Catherine, while I'm sorting out the pips on this lemon, do you want to check the chicken to see if it's uh, golden? Yeah, I'm just giving it a little stir first. It's going to be kind of impossible for me to check the chicken and film. So, which one is it? Uh, I can take over the filming in a second. I'm just getting this last pip out. All right, I will now be the cameraman for cooking with Liam. And Catherine is going to check the lemon. The chicken. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah. Moment of truth. She thinks it's looking good? Yeah. All right, if you take this back. So I've currently got lemon on my fingers, mm -hmm. which I'm trying to show you. Oh, Lemony sorry. fingers. Yeah. I'm going to wash these, then I'm going to cut the bread. Um, one thing about cooking that I haven't mentioned, probably should have mentioned at the start, uh, wash your hands. Um, not just because of COVID-19 or that sort of stuff, but just general hygiene. It's good to wash your hands uh, before you start cooking, and then frequently throughout the cooking process, I would say. Oh, I almost dropped my phone, sorry. I was trying to do some smart zooming and it didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, so now we've got some bread. Um, as you can see with this bread, the end of it here has gone a bit, um, what do you call Are that? Are you deliberately holding the bread like that? It's cooking with Liam. Yeah. What would you expect? Exactly that. So, uh, this isn't deliberate now, this is just the only way I know how to deglove bread. Uh, I don't know if degloving is the right term, but... It's probably not. Fits. Uh, let's get rid of this lemon. Are you going to cut the, the do dodgy end? Yeah. Are we eating the dodgy end? Yeah. That's oh. one bit. No. No. Right, let me cut that bit off then. Yeah, I don't want the dodgy bit. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Don't want that bit. How much do you want then? Um. So I don't. I I want smaller pieces. Like that. Yeah. All right. Here we go. But like maybe three, two or three of those. All right. Um. I'm just going to say for the camera, um, we're not wasting that bread. 
Um, we'll eat it later. Yeah. Because food shortage in the world is a real serious problem. Um, I'll probably use it for sandwiches or something. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think we're wasting any of this bread. Uh, we just don't want it for this meal that we're having right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to cut myself... I'm going to do four slices of bread, actually, because, um, hey. Oh, do you know what might be good? A bit of butter on that bread as well. But you're going to have the sauce to... Still. John, you're going to butter it? Yeah. Well, you might want to get on with it, because this yeah, is still away. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, this is oh. starting to get a film on it now. Yeah, you've got to stir it. Stop that happening. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go. Where's the butter? Put it away. Put the butter away. Do you want any butter on your bread? Yeah, I'll have a little bit if it's going. All right, let me just get a knife out, thank you. Okie dokie. This is so chaotic. <laughs> this is called Cooking with Liam. This isn't even like you chaotic cooking. Like this is tame, like compared to the last time you cooked for me, which was pure chaos. What do you mean? Well, when you made that chorizo carbonara, we weren't even filming the whole thing and it was utter chaos. This is a chaos. It's a bit chaotic. This is how you do cooking. Okay. I like to have quite a lot of butter on my bread. Um, Catherine, how much butter would you like on your bread? Um, less. Yeah, all right. Well, I've got four slices, so that's my four real buttery slices. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, butter's not good for you. That much? Yeah, look, they're kind of shaped, oh no, I thought it was shaped like a heart, but it's more like a clover. Yeah. Probably done a bit too much butter on that one for you. Yeah, you also not really spread it. Do you want me to take over the butter duties? Yeah, you take over the butter duties. But I can't film the butter at the same Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. I'm going to take the chicken off the heat now. Okay. Um... Wait, is this, um, that's your problem? So here we go. Uh, this is cooking with Liam. As you can see there, Catherine is doing the butter. Oh, I thought you said less butter than what I gave myself. Oh, it's myself. the way that you spread it. Right. You sort of just put a clump in the middle. You're supposed to spread butter like that. So there's the butter. There's the lemon. Going to get some plates. Yeah. I'm going to back up and get some plates while filming Catherine doing her thing. Where are we serving this? Because we've got a bit of mess over I'm going to serve it over here. Do you want me to bring things so you can serve? Yeah. What first? Uh, let's bring the, the, the chicken first. I'm going to move your laptop. Um, I'm just going on a little detour while I take Catherine's laptop out of the kitchen. Right, here we go. Now we're cooking with Liam. So let's put this on a plate nicely. Maybe, probably not. Uh, who's having the butterfly chicken? Uh, you're having that larger piece, which is butterfly. So this bit here that I've put on the plate, oh, look at that steaming, is that your bit? Yeah. Okay. I'm having this larger bit here. Do that and spoon. This is quite hard to do, filming and everything else. Do you want me to hold the phone? Yeah, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Oh, I've covered it. Um, and then I'm going to put some of the sauce and stuff over the chickens. Would you like to describe the smell to the viewers? It smells nice. Very descriptive, thank you. No, I mean, it doesn't have a specific smell. Have a good whiff of it. Get your nose in there and have a good whiff. I can't really... Oh, it smells like... Um... Tuscany. Yeah. There's a bit of tomato in there. Bit of sauce for you. Uh, right, that's that bit done. Next, I'm going to do the lemons. So on the lemons and oh I think I've I think I've still got a pip in this one. I'll put that on my plate. Oh you just poured a load of the lemon juice on your plate. Whoops. <laughs> uh, so that's the lemons and now it's time for the bread. 
This is really like the final bit. Hello. Uh, so this is a cat fryson piece. This is a cat fryson piece. Uh, you know what to say about cooking. Presentation is everything. So bon appetit. Um, there we go. That bread sort of just exploded. Um, so all that's left now. It's very hot. All that's left now is to eat it really. That's how you cook the uh, creamy Tuscany chicken. Uh, what we did there was we took the recipe, we halved it because there's two people and the recipe said four. We didn't halve all of it, but we halved some of it. And now we're gonna eat it. Uh, you make it at home and you tell us if it tastes any good. Okay, we're here to do the taste testing. Nice. Okay, and now I will have a little taste test. Mm, it's nice. Tastes very lemony, because I just lemon all over it. Same. But, um... I think that was a job well done. That was Cooking with Liam. I've been Liam. Thank you for watching. Uh, have fun cooking. Always.